We heard that bamboo is the future sustainable building material for the planet. We heard it is 21st century steel. For many people around the world, bamboo is already a traditional building material. So why don't we use it here? Could we? This kind of bamboo can grow in the UK. It's not as chunky as the ones from Bali you can get, but it's definitely as strong. It's great because it can either be used like in a straight, linear, line growing way, or you can split it and you can curve it and weave it. Alex is one of the artists on the Imagine Bamboo is Everywhere project happening in Liverpool city region. It's exploring and experimenting with UK grown bamboo to find out what it's capable of and what it's like to work with. As you're harvesting it, you're thinking about what you're going to make with it and which piece of bamboo you might want and what might work best. You kind of have more connection to it. I've been doing a lot more model making with the bamboo skewers because it's basically, if you can make it with a bamboo skewer, you can make it out of this if you scale it up. So we've got 11 artists from different making backgrounds and disciplines and they're being invited to create, to design and make large structures made of this Barinda bamboo that respond to stories and themes from their local area and organic patterns and forms and that are robust for touring to the six boroughs of Liverpool city region. We're going to be working with specialists from bamboo growing countries who are going to help the artists figure out what we can do with our kind of bamboo. It's been really fantastic to come here and work with all the artists. Seeing each different art, artist and each different set of skills that they bring to this situation has been really interesting. Already some of the artists have been quite ambitious with what they want to make. My structure is based on my borough, which is uh, Halton Borough Council, which is linked with the Runcorn Witness Bridges. And this is based on the old Runcorn Witness Bridge and the new one. So we've got sort of like the curve of the old bridge with the triangles of the new bridge. I'm working with a natural material that doesn't always straight away do what I'm, I'm used to. The more mathematical way of working, that there's often like a right and wrong way. That's one of the most interesting things with this as well. It's a material that's really well suited to community projects. Anyone can participate. It doesn't matter how old you are, it doesn't matter you know, what your gender is, what your skill is. Everyone is able to have a role and a way of creating with bamboo. Bamboo is a lightweight material. It's material that's fairly easy to connect and join and split. You need to make sure you're centering it. So you probably want to look down the line. Yeah, okay, and then have a go. There we go. Okay, keep pulling, pulling, pulling. Pulling. <laughs> It's like a weird tug of war. <laughs> the good thing about working with the bamboo is um, once it's split you can use the nodes on the bamboo as, um, to make sure everything's horizontal, which is quite handy so you don't have to measure that. We split it into ten and, um, and put a hoop in and then we're going to see what we can, what kind of interesting shapes we can, we can make. Whoops. So you've actually got involved, Joe, haven't you? Yeah. <laughs> she can't help herself. My festival site is Southport, and Southport's lovely, but the sea, sea has moved back, and so what I thought I'd do is I'd take the sea back to Southport. So my theatrical device is to have a passing wave. Different materials do different things to their absolute best. It's using bamboo in it, it's absolute beauty. Straight lines, it does incredibly well. It also curves when, once you change its structure. Super lightweight, super strong, super adaptable to put all sorts of bits together. So the wave formation that I'm making is so you can be under the sea, which was a little Beatles song. I'm hoping everybody will have some fun making fish and crabs and octopus and seaweed. So Alex, what are you up to? I'm trying to make like whirly gig windmills. Uh, which then led to this, which it's all about trying to make this large scale and obviously it's missing a sail. We've been playing around with actually drilling directly into the bamboo, so that's providing the spin motion. <sighs> the 
The site I'm working on in St Helens, it's known for its railway. The train station just down the road, it has two lines running through. A straight line, a line on the bend. So a lot of it was looking at bamboo as a straight material and how we can bend it and curve it and split it and weave it. So what's that the countdown for? This is the countdown for our steaming experiment. So we've created this steam box here for bamboo. So Thaddy and I are just going to see how applying steam to it, how much and what techniques we need to use to bend the bamboo. We've tried a couple already, just to see how the material behaves. The kind of design is changing as I'm sort of playing with the materials. And also because we've got this beautiful landscape on the Wirral, the site at Thirsties and Beach is like up on a hill and then you've got the sea behind and then North Wales in the distance. The frames are kind of hopefully going to be positioned to frame this amazing view. But I'm not sure, I think the sun sets over here as well, so it's, you know, you get that lovely pinky thing going on in the evening as well. It's been really, really nice to have a collaborative project with other artists. It's been really good working with Orit. There's been opportunities to meet with Jed, who's come from Cave Urban, who's come over. So people from all over the world, I think multinational kind of thing going on. And often, you know, as artists, we're working on our own in our studio and, you know, not having those opportunities. So it's, it's really nice to have that you know, that big collaboration going on. I'm building a set of giant butterfly wings. This is to scale. This is 1 to 20. So the structure, these sails, are going to be 6 metres long. I'm 2 metres long, so be me. The idea is that these will be two sets of wings and you can walk through the middle of them. Nothing went wrong, it was just trying to figure out the angle at which we could get it to curve the way you you want to with a twist rather than a straight sail to make it more dynamic. So the sails of the butterflies will be out of bamboo fabric. So all the whole structure will be bamboo, even down to the fabric. Bamboo is everywhere. What's happened here, Brian? <laughs> it's heavy rain and it's come through the ceiling. All the stuff that's not waterproof, got wet. <laughs> so these joints are milk bottle joints. And just capable of tying them together so that they can be secured so then we can put on the willow joints afterwards to make it look pretty and to hold them they're much stronger um i'm using my teeth because i hurt my thumb sitting bamboo faith bebbington putting in the last piece how does it feel when i've got it to fit i'll be happy the joy of bamboo is you can make big structures relatively quickly and that are strong it is going to go St George's Square behind the pagoda. I think it will look quite good there. Another day, another sculpture. <laughs> Trying to beat the clock now before we take it off. I thought we had to have seven. Have you finished? Did you do it in time? Yes. <laughs> I'm feeling really excited. This is a high stakes moment because the structures are now going to the depot where they're going to be tested by our collaborators, Atelier One engineers, for their durability and strength in relation to wind, wet weather and other outdoor elements. This project is pioneering. This is the first time that people are starting to explore what can be done with UK grown bamboo as a structural material. Uh, I mean, you can see all of these installations, they're all playing around with how you joint it, what forms you can make. And it's, it's really exciting, it's, it's the, the very first steps into understanding it. In terms of why we like bamboo, it's three or four times stronger than timber and it grows in a tenth of the time. We've got one planet and we can't waste it. 
we've got to start thinking about sequestering carbon and about how we capture carbon dioxide in our structures rather than emitting carbon dioxide. It's, it's not enough to emit less carbon dioxide, we've got to start capturing it. At Bamboo, in terms of carbon that you can sequester per hectare per year, we haven't found a material that's better yet. It's an incredibly strong material, but it splits. So it's all about trying to find ways of connecting it together that can use all that strength. What's really interesting about this one is that this is a way of connecting bamboo that we never really thought of before. And it actually manages to mobilize a huge amount of the strength of bamboo. So we're off all over the six boroughs, Sefton, Liverpool, St. Helens, Knowsley, Halton and Wirral. We're still asking questions and exploring. We're seeing what people want to make. We're trying out different ways of using bamboo and people are having a go themselves. Your house, is it? Yeah. What's it made out of? Bamboo. The artists are here and the amazing bamboo circus. And there's some brilliant musicians. Some of the instruments are even made of bamboo as well including these drums. Projects like this are important because it raises awareness, especially bring it to places where you would not expect and really getting people to understand more about what we can do with bamboo through performance, through art and through architecture and other forms. And I think that's really the exciting thing to bring about change. I found out about bamboo that um, it is four times stronger than wood and when you cut it down it'll grow back in three years. I didn't realise how incredibly strong it is and how quickly it can grow and how it can be used for building structures. Sounds like it's really amazing and much better than using concrete. I've learned you can make clothes out of it, you can knit with it, you can build scaffolding with it, you can build whatever you like and it's green and it's sustainable and it's brilliant. I think people need to be more aware that bamboo has many good uses. We've managed to create a structure already in about 20 minutes, which seems pretty sturdy. What I've learned is the artistry of it, which I think is wonderful because all around here, we've got all sorts of sculptures. And also, it's just lovely to see people enjoying artwork that can be made from things. And even this material, is made from bamboo. I think it's really important that people are made aware of it and that, that it's done in such a nice, kind of artistic, creative way. There should be a lot of thought and investment go into it to look at how we can use it. It's a non-native plant, so the key challenge here is really how do you grow enough bamboo to be used industry-wide. And the other thing is also policy, because I don't think we as British people know enough about this material and for the politician to know enough about this to introduce this into green policies. I think I am now way more switched on to climate change and its dangers. We need to rethink in this country about sustainability and different ways of making things. Because it grows so quickly, we can harvest it so regularly, it, it, it should just become a, a, a dominant material in, in all our spaces. The way that it can be used is fantastic. We do need to do quite a lot more sort of research into how it weathers in our climate. We've seen this summer the temperature rises, we've seen the extreme weather conditions. It's time to start taking sustainability seriously. We've got to start using low carbon materials. And in terms of structural options, bamboo is up there as something we need to explore. And that's why seeing the material explored in all of these different ways is so exciting. I understand that all of the bamboo being used here has been from nest gardens, which is fantastic, but we need somebody to start growing bamboo in bulk. And it's something that we've been talking to a lot of people about, trying to persuade somebody to plant some bamboo, and it will happen soon. So we need to make sure that there is enough research, so testing data, into these species to make sure that we know exactly how to use it. And then we need people to start trying out what can be done with it and actually start building not just installations, but hopefully permanent buildings too. Thousands of people across Liverpool City region have taken part in this project over the last four weeks. And I think what we've learnt is that everyone, all of us, are looking for practical, positive ways of responding to the challenges of this particular moment in human history. And that bamboo seems to offer a uniquely accessible and creative and playful, innovative way of thinking differently about the materials that we choose to use. 
It's been four months since we harvested bamboo in nest gardens and we've learned so much. We've combined with other materials, we've split, bashed, bonded and built, not just structures, but hope too. It's not all been easy, but if we can do all this in four months, just think what's possible in the coming years.